Good afternoon, this is Akeem with Artemis Computer Technology and today's lesson is about how to sign up for a free Google account and use its great products such as Picasa which is a photo and organizing and editing service Google Talk which is instant messaging within your browser with somebody else that already have a Google account that you go instant message free all day <clears throat> and another one Gmail which is my favorite email client out right now and now I'm gonna show you something about Gmail after we create after I show you how to create a account with Google and show you a lot of great features not a lot of people know about Gmail so let's get started yes okay now if you're a person already have a Google account I know you probably familiar with clicking the sign in button then if not if you're a person that do not have a Google account still click the sign in button so let's get started click the sign in button on the top right hand corner now if you already have an account this is the sign in I call it the sign in box all you gotta do is type in your email your password click sign in now see how you see right here sign in on the right or create an account for free here we go right up here to your top right sign up for a new Google account now I'm going to create an account just for tutorial reasons and just show you how everything is done now I'm just gonna type in guess okay man I'm just type in something simple um just now this again is just for tutorial reasons anything like that that's all it is okay now I also show you birthday I'm well old enough and let's see now I love about Google is that they always have you know I call it capture they have you know some some characters that you have to type in just to show that you are a real person uh, prevent spam and a lot of other stuff that's that's going on nowadays well let me see now this is yes create now just while I'm just showing you it asks you for your name just step one of it of creating your Google account ask for your name a username that you want to use password I def I recommend using a strong password longer than eight characters alphanumerical meaning with letters numbers and symbols symbols such as you know the at sign dollar sign percent sign and another favorite that a lot of people use is the asterisk Ask for your birthday. If you are old enough, type in your birthday, your gender. If you want to add in your mobile phone, it's up to you. If you have any other email addresses that you may associate with the Google account, you could add, you could add it in. Now, that's another thing. Yes, for password. Make sure that your password is 100% proof meaning that nobody can recognize it anything like that think up that just by sitting at your computer think up anything I, I, I recommend not using your cell phone number birth date and simple passwords now this is another thing this is step two now create your profile now your profile is asking for you want to add a picture you want to add a picture you know another thing that's as your picture that same picture that you upload which is right here add profile picture you upload your photo that same photo is going to be associated with Google Plus now Google Plus is another great thing with creating a Google account Google Plus is the new social network and service that Google has released is it's in very high competition with 
Facebook and, and it's pretty good. It's pretty decent. I use it and I, and I actually love it. Now we're not going to upload a photo. I'm just going to have guest man. Now this is just for just for tutorial purposes. Nothing more. Um, just to show you, just just to get an idea of how to do it step by step. So we skip part. We skip part two. Now we're up to um, step three, which is that we are you are all set. Now this is the email that I created right here. Guestman six zero three at gmail dot com. Now when you create your Google account, you already have you already they, they assign you a gmail now this right here is your actual email address so people ask you have a gmail yes yeah, sure i do what is it right here this is everything right here so thanks for creating an account have fun let's get started with more of the great features now once you click get started now as you see on the top right hand side you'll see your name first name if you had a photo your photo will be right here now if you look over here on the top left another great thing click more now YouTube, another great thing that a lot of people will say that they love. They love to post videos. They love to share videos across the internet. Blogs. Now, all of this stuff right here, all of these great features comes just by signing up for it with signing up a Google account. That's all. Free. Very simple. Three easy short steps. And this is everything right here. Another one that I love to use is that where is Google Docs now I use this for school and Google Docs is great because sometimes I do have papers have to write I have presentation spreadsheets sometimes I may even have to create forms now all the forms that I create are within Google Docs nothing more now let's sign in again because we are going into Google Docs now this is Google Docs right here another great thing that I love is that you can create right here create click the create button if you want to create a document presentation spreadsheet form a drawing now table is still in beta if you have a collection or from a template now everything that you create let's for example let's create a document I create this document now let's type something like this now you want to save it go to file and you see all the great stuff that I have and more great things that's that's very much I definitely recommend using Google Docs now Google Docs is you have documents anything like that now I'm just gonna close this out real quick now that's it I, even I just closed it out it's still in there now that's great that's another great feature about that I don't believe Microsoft Office can actually do that now anything if you want to escape Google documents all you gotta do is go to your top left hand to the top corner and click on where you want to go calendar <clears throat> this is another great thing now set your time zone go to continue I'm a person that usually forget a lot of things at time so I do at events meetings into Google Calendar so I just in case I don't forget another great thing is that it also sets a reminder for you too a lot of things it's beautiful now let's go to my favorite gmail gmail still loading now see now it's another another thing that's just simple look how it's look very nice and simple and since we just created the account eight we already have three emails in our inbox showing us how to customize gmail with colors and themes how to import your clients and old email from Yahoo email, Hotmail, AOL, and many other web services, you can actually import your your contacts in your mail from services into your Gmail account. Yes, and also get mail from on your mobile phone. Like my phone, I have an Android phone, and some of my emails sent to me are sent onto my mobile phone. I love it. So I don't even have to go to a computer just to check email. No, it's go straight to my phone. I read it. I reply back. Beautiful. Love it. Now Android is a popular mobile app, app operating system. Guess what? By who? By Google. Been out for almost four years now, and and it's great and it, and it's beautiful and I love it. It's it's just something that's very simple. You could use touch screen on most of his phones. You can use it every day. You won't have any problems. Now, Gmail accounts are 
your emails are compressed compress and also spam free now Google said that they're actually spam free yes I do admit that is somewhat true because it does prevent a lot of spam from entering to your email now when you have spam your email such as you know for example there's some send some money to some other country stuff like that and I don't really you know I just go straight delete the um email now Google Gmail account is actually better than some of these other email services out here because they you know Gmail not only that's compressed it's also a hundred percent security meaning that nobody cannot enter to your email and try to do anything that you want now that feature right there you have to set up now I'm not going to show you out because that's going to be more advanced more features how to set up now when you your gmail account you'll see that you have circles now I'm getting to the circles in a bit and now let's leave out of gmail and go to google plus google plus like I was telling you is just it looks it's just it's a social social networking tool that Google release and it's and it's actually awesome and it's actually beautiful. I love it. Now this is all of the stuff that you know um, Google wants you to add to your circle just starting out and just to do anything. I also again ask you upload your picture, your pers basic information, your school, occupation, where you live. Now this is the first screen that you get when you see Google Plus. Now Google Plus is actually something very simple and something great social networking um you can create people you can put people into your groups what are called circles so you have access to who you want to see your content if you post if you update your status anyway you're and, and you just and you could just pick and choose who you want to read it it could be somebody just from simple circle you know that's another great thing about Google, Google Plus, and it's and it's great and and it's actually beautiful. Now Google, quiet YouTube, and another great thing you also want to want to access go to you um YouTube. You actually do it from here. Now click on your username, your profile, and <clears throat> now you also show your web history. Now that's just more other stuff that you really want to do. Now I'm gonna show you a simple way how to sign out. Of everything and go back to what you were doing now I'm gonna click on your name username in the top right hand corner you're gonna see at the bottom sign out all you gotta do is click sign out and you're actually signed out of every thing your actual your Google account you're signed out absolutely now I do have another tab open or I do have with the Gmail I'm gonna do the same step again show you again click on your your name and click sign out now you actually signed out of everything now see as you see here gmail is lots of space less spam now i did say this less spam you know another one yahoo do have a lot of spam i was getting spam more than i was getting regular email now that's a big problem with, with certain stuff and yes now well that concludes our computer tutorial about google how to set up a g uh, a google account and showing you how to utilize this great services once you just create a Google account that cre that your username uh, your that account username is you're showing you can actually use on many of these great products now yes this is Akeem again with Artemis Computer Technology and this concludes our tutorial thank you very much for listening and have a great day take care